crushed Alderaan under your boot, apprentice. I am incredibly impressed. The planet will feel the sting for years to come. I know a humble servant, master. Norman Carr's Padawan can no longer hide in anonymity. I am pleased. By rooting out this Jason Wilson's parents, you have reached across the galaxy to strike a sharp blow at our enemies. Every lead followed perfectly, every planet ravaged. Our adversary is growing antsy, I can feel it. Expect news soon. Barris out. My lord, I thought it prudent not to interrupt Darth Barris. We received a recorded transmission. It is queued when you are ready. Sith, I'm Jason Wilson. My master, Noman Carr, has no idea I'm sending this message. Let's be real. We both know this isn't about us. Ah. The Hunted seeks the Hunter. Our masters pretend otherwise, but this is personal. You and I are only pawns in their private war, and those I care about are caught in the middle. It has to stop. Wow. Gotta give it to her. She sure got guts. She certainly does. I appreciate directness. And as merciful as your actions have been, it's time you stopped this passive-aggressive campaign. This message includes coordinates where I'll be waiting in my ship. Let's discuss this face to face. No more nonsense. What do you think of that, Captain? It could be a trap, my lord. Noman Khan may have put her up to it. Hey, don't listen to Captain Paranoid here. I don't think it's a trap. I trust her. I'll take that under advisement. The coordinates are set, my lord. We can rendezvous with her ship whenever you give the word. Well, well. We're going to have to thank Noman Khan after all. The Sith showed. Stand down, Sith. Padawan you seek is not here. Master Carr discovered her plan and talked her out of it. It's not your day. You were expecting one lowly little Padawan to crush. And instead, you get us. Save yourself some trouble and tell me where she is. The Sith has a sense of humor. Believe me, Master Carr didn't send us to help you. I am Alden. This is Xylix. We are fully trained Jedi Knights and more than your match. You should submit. Of course, we have yet to encounter a Sith who had the sense to surrender. You all seem bent on having us destroy you. Admit it. You'd be disappointed if I gave up. Not at all. We don't go around picking fights. I wouldn't trust it if the Sith surrendered. I prefer the sureness of death. True Jedi don't attack to kill. The light side demands temperance. Who are you to lecture about the light side? The Sith force us to take measures like this. You, Sith, pose an exception. Your vile attempts to hurt Noman Carr and Jason Wilson are provocation enough. You don't know my motivations. Come on! It doesn't take a genius to know you came here to destroy! Your presence is all the confirmation we need, right, Alden? No. Xylix, I... I'm unsure. Master Carr claims this Sith means Jasa harm, but we have no proof. Master Carr's word is proof enough. I have no crisis of conscience, assuming his assessment is sound. That's an assumption I cannot make, my friend. I will not engage. I must walk away. And I urge you to do the same. You may have derailed Alden's resolve, Sith, but your luck ends there. I'll take you on myself. You're going to regret that. Never! <laughs> I yield! I yield to you! Damn, Aldenford, leaving me to face you alone. The result would have been the same. Your strength is undeniable. Is there such power in the dark side? I leave you to ponder your future. I am a broken man. Apprentice, the timing of this call is fortuitous. I was just about to contact you with news. I'm eager to hear it. I'm pleased to report that your exploits have been successful. I have received a transmission from Noman Carr, calling me out, if you will, challenging me to face him to the death. Our enemy has become desperate. He must have lost his mind. Your efforts to disrupt his precious Padawan have unnerved him. He seeks to turn the tides. Carr fails to understand I have outgrown our personal dispute. He expects me to jump at the chance of strangling him. He will be unprepared for you. Don't you want to vanquish your nemesis yourself? Noman Carr is just a vehicle to my greater goal. 
The duel is to happen on Hutta, at the site of Noman Kar's betrayal so long ago. A fitting place for this to end. Defeat him, but do not kill him. His torment will reach out to his Padawan. He will be the bait that brings her to you. Sounds like a plan. I can feel Jason Wilson on the verge of breaking, and Kar's desperate actions confirm it. Subdue the Master and the pupil will come to save him. I have foreseen it. Your presence tells me that my fellows Olden and Xylix must have failed. Pity. Should have known Barris couldn't be trusted. As a man of my word, I am here, alone as agreed. Your master shows himself a coward, sending you in his stead. I haven't come to kill you. No, I am sure you're here to play Pazak. You are Barriss's pawn, an especially resourceful and powerful one, but still only that. I must put an end to you. Once you're out of the way, Jason will provide the proof I need to open the Jedi Council's eyes and expose Barriss's network of spies. Don't force me to destroy you. This ends now, Sith. Uh, the Force is... Very strong with you. I must dig deeper. Stand down, Carl. No one has to die. Never. No! This is not right. Fall! You must fall to me! You are weakening, Carl. Surrender. Silence, Sith. I wound is mortal, Sith. At least I die knowing you'll never find Jaysa. My lord, Darth Barra sent us in case you needed help. Clearly that's not the case. He said Noman Kar should be kept alive. May we stabilize him? No. Barris be damned! I want... to die. Then Jaysa will be safe. Despite what you think, I'm not trying to kill your Padawan. Lies. Tricks. We'll save him, my lord, and then be out of your way in an adjacent chamber. Hurry, man! The Jedi's fading! I... I'm alive. I see through you, Sith. You only saved me so that Jason would believe your heart is pure. I will not be the bait that draws Jason to you. There's no reason for you to become so distraught. I was supposed to expose Barris and open the Jedi Council's eyes. It was my destiny. Jaysa is mine. The glory of defeating Barris is mine. My lord, the Padawan approaches. Make room for our guest of honor. Sith, I have come. It seems I was expected. Your men outside let me pass. Release Master Carr. Your efforts to draw me out have been a success. Jason, no! I told you to stay put. How dare you defy me? I have long been waiting for this moment. My sacrifice for nothing! Stupid child! For all your power, you have understood nothing. What have you done to him, Sith? Has this been inside him all along? No. It can't be. No one can hide such darkness. Somehow you've turned him mad! Look into your master's heart and see the truth. Master Carr taught me not to use my power as a crutch, only when it was clearly necessary. I've never brought it to bear on him, but... I... I sense... Pride, and envy, and hate, and vengeance? No! What Sith trick is this? I would have known if such darkness resided within him. This is what the Jedi do. They mask and pretend and hide. I... I thought I'd found something I could count on. The Jedi are pure. You're supposed to know where you stand with them, right? Jason, it's all a trick. Turn your power on the Sith, and you'll see! Look at me as long as you like. I have nothing to hide. Very well, then. 
I see mercy and fairness and even perhaps compassion. You have walked the light path. Sparing Master Yonlock and my parents are true reflections of you. But it is said that Sith embody darkness. How is this possible? To walk among Sith and not be discovered is an incredible challenge. Don't listen, Jaysa. It's all a trick. The Sith has disguised himself and me to cause you to doubt your power. I... I don't know what to believe. You told me there was order to the galaxy that you would show me the truth. But nothing is true. Both of you are trying to drive me insane. It's Darth Barriss. He is manipulating us all. Kill the Sith. Kill Barriss's liar and you'll see. The truth is plainly before you. I walk in the light. Shut up! I can't trust you! I can't trust anything! Defend yourself, Sith! I am... no match. You had the opening you needed to kill me, and... yet you held back. Your death would be a tragedy. Your actions reflect only light. You appear to be an agent of the dark side, but it's a mask. But Master Carl also wears a mask, and his deception is a much uglier one. It's not his fault. His connection to the Force is flawed. All my life I've put up with deceit and denial. I thought the Jedi would be different. You've shown me otherwise. You've exposed Master Carr for what he is. It's your power that reveals a person's true nature. Your conviction and purity bring a reckoning that cannot be denied. I want that. Join me. And from within the Sith Empire, we can forge a lasting peace. Yes. I see the advantage of this. So much more can be achieved from within. At last, I feel a sense of purpose. Something I can count on. What do you wish of me? And what shall we do with Master Carr? He has turned away from the light. He needs guidance to heal and find his way back. Your wisdom is unrivaled, my lord. Jaysa, I'll see to it that the Jedi disavow you. You will be labeled an enemy of the Order. Then I'll finally know where I stand with you. You took me as far as you were able. I hope this does not leave you bitter. With the Council's help, perhaps he will come to understand. My lord, I must speak up. Is it wise to allow such a powerful adversary to return to the enemy? There is more to this than you know. Of course. I have faith in your judgments, my lord. You inspire such loyalty and trust. That is very telling. I am ready to learn your ways, my lord. And I look forward to aiding you any way I am able. No. No. This cannot be... My fate. Who are you to preside over me? You. You are nothing. I am. I am Noman Carr. Apprentice, my soldiers informed me that you subdued Master Carr, but I've heard no further update. What has transpired? Where is Noman Carr? I left him there. A beaten, empty shell. I see. I had hoped to get my hands on him, but I suppose my imagination will have to suffice. Through the Force, I did feel some of his pain. It was a spectacular sensation. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. This is my master, Darth Barris. Greetings, my lord. Your parents are alive and thriving here on Drummond Cass. They'll be so pleased to know you are safe. Please tell them I have never been happier. I sense her devotion to you, Apprentice. However did you manage that? I learned from the best, Master. <laughs> Excellent. The perfect disciple. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. 
I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here to help. Come on, Jaysa. Let's get you set up. Whenever you need me, my lord. Whatever your order. I'll be ready. Make this ship your home. You are so very gracious. So, my lord. Now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. I'm a bit perplexed. Your methods have been rather... unorthodox to this point. There are many ways to win a war, Quinn. I hope to be there when you deal the final blow. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. 